it crazy how um and I've heard this statement before. I I ain't the one that created this statement. How common sense ain't so common. I mean, like that's so true, bro. Like that is so true. How when they say common sense ain't so common, that's true. Now, let me go ahead and give you an example of what I'm talking about when I say that common sense isn't so common. So, like, hold on, give me a sec. So, for example, right? Check this out. Um, uh, so... As you guys know, I moved in a roommate, right? I moved in a uh, roommate, right? And he's been here for 19 days so far. And it's just common sense when it comes, and you know, like I said, man, like I said in previous videos, I don't want to be a hypocrite because I did the same exact shit myself. <clears throat> so I don't want to be a hypocrite. But, for example, it's like, it's like this, right? It's like, so, if, if I'm at work, if I'm at work the whole day, right? I've been at work the whole day and you've been at the crib all day. Don't you think that since you've been at the crib all day that you should clean up the house? Because um, I've been I've been gone all day. You've been at the crib. Like you don't think that you should clean up. So by the time I come back, I don't got to do nothing. Why is it I'm going to work, I'm coming home, and stuff is dirty? You know? Some of it's even my mess, but you should clean up my mess, too. Because you ain't even... Because he, he told me that he had two jobs. He said, oh, I have a job at Papa John's, and I have a job at Lowe's. I said, okay, cool. And I'm like, all right, cool, cool, bad, bad, cool, cool. Wrong. He only has a job at Papa John's. So I, so I believe he lied when he said he had a job at Lowe's. And he, and, and he only works at Papa John's part-time. It's only four hours. So that means, because there's only a few days that he went to work, he was only gone for four hours. I'm like, nigga. I'm like, well, I'm like, okay. But it's like, okay, well, when are you finna work at Lowe's? Because I go to work in the morning. I, I, I'll be out the house at like 7 o'clock. 7.30 or something. I don't get home till like 5, about 4 or 5 that afternoon. He's still at the crib. I'm like, nigga. Okay. And you only work four hours. Okay, you only work four hours. Okay, well. I'm pretty sure that work isn't strenuous work. Well, why don't you clean something up? Right? Especially your own mess at that. Because this dude be making messes and don't be cleaning up his own mess. Like, dude, like, like, um, like, dude, like, clean up after yourself. Like, the other day, he made fish, got grease all over the stove. Nigga, clean that up. And I was, I ain't clean it up. I was watching to see when he's gonna clean it up. Shit was sitting there for like two days. I'm like, so I went and cleaned it. I'm like, nigga, why am I cleaning up your mess? When you cook and you make a mess, clean it up. Wash your dishes when you're done. I used to eat and then just leave the food there and then clean up later. No, but you know, you're supposed to clean as you go. You're supposed to clean up while you're cooking so when you get done, you don't know, you're already done cleaning. You're not supposed to wait. He, I'm pretty sure he would have never cleaned up at all if I didn't do it. So clean up your fucking mess. Wash your dishes. He has some food in the sink. They have been sitting there for so long, and another thing, when you when you have dishes, you're supposed to rinse it out so it doesn't harden on the on the bowl and plate 
and then you got to scrub it off. So you let it harden. Then it was sitting there for so long that it started to stink. It was like some cheese or something. It started to stink. I'm like, it stinks in this damn house. Or it stinks in the kitchen area. I'm like, nigga, because you got this fucking cheese in here. You ain't fucking wash out. Wash this shit out. You don't smell this shit? Wash it out. Take out the garbage. The garbage is full. Take it out. You've been here all day. And then he don't even work at Papa John's every day. So he working four hours a day for maybe, I'll say, three or four days out the week. I'm working full out, full time, five days a week. You know? Well, you, you got more free time than me. Clean this stuff. Take out the garbage. Well, clean up your mess. You know? Some of the some of the stuff, you know, some there might be like a little small mess that I might make from time to time. I always clean it up when I get home. It's just in the morning. I don't got time to really do that shit because I, cause I, I got to go to work. So, nigga, my mess, clean up my mess, too. If you gonna be here all fucking day. Shit. Just like today, I thought he was finna go to work. Nope, he at the crib. I'm like, nigga, when, when you finna go to work? Full time at another, at another job. Full time. Come on, bro. It's just common sense to clean up after yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's common sense to, when I buy groceries for myself... You don't touch it. I didn't buy this stuff for you. I bought it for me. Because I got a link card and and I gave him money for himself. I said, hey, listen, this is your share and the rest of this is mine. So I already gave you your half of the link. Why are you touching my stuff? I didn't. I gave you your half already. Don't touch my stuff. I already gave you your shit. This is kind of similar when I was a couple years back. My my uncle told me to he he uh took he 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 took me to this taco place. He said, "Yo, listen, buy anything off the." He said, "Buy anything off the menu, and I'll buy it for you." He said, "Buy anything you want." I said, "All right, sure." So I ordered my food, whatever, and then I I get my tacos, and then I start eating his food. That shit pissed him off, and I understand. He's like, "Nigga, I told you that you could order anything off the menu. Why are you touching my food?" That may, and I understand that now. Like I, like I, at the time, I didn't really understand, and I do think he was overreacting. But um, you know, it made sense. Like nigga, why you didn't I say you can get anything off the menu? Why are you touching my food? I'd be pissed off too. Like if I told motherfucker, hey man, get anything off the menu, I'll buy it for you, and you get two burgers and fries, and I get this, but you touching my shit. Like nigga, what the fuck are you doing? Like, that pissed me off, too. Now I'm thinking back, so I, so I, I apologize for that. And he he didn't show his anger at the time, but later on, he was he was talking to my dad about that shit, and he was pissed off. My dad said he was pissed off about that. I mean, I think he was overreacting, but most definitely that shit would piss me off, too. If I say you can order anything off the menu, but here, here come you touching my damn food. That'll piss me off, bro. But it's just common sense, bro, to clean up after yourself. Don't bring people over without you asking. Don't have your friends eating up my motherfucking food. Because if they didn't buy it, they shouldn't be touching it. And if they gonna touch some food, they gonna touch the food that you bought. Like, don't be having them niggas touch my food. Like... No. No. Don't have them niggas touch my shit. They ain't putting on them groceries. I don't mind occasionally making someone a meal, giving them a snack, but don't have them be having niggas just munching down on my shit. Now, like I said, that food that, that his friends ate, I ain't really even want that shit for real. So I ain't really care about that shit because I ain't even want it, you know, as far as the food that they ate. But still, it's the principle. Like, don't have niggas eating my shit. They ain't buy it. They don't need to be touching it. Unless I give word to touch it. Shit. Fuck you got niggas eating my shit for. Shit. Uh Uh-uh, bro. I'm not rich, bro. I only make enough money to take care of myself. To be honest, maybe I can do a little bit to help someone else. A little tiny bit. But that's it. I can't be helping motherfuckers like that. And all these niggas, they got houses to go home to. They got mamas. Shit, go 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 eat that shit. Uh uh-uh, uh, bro. I ain't, I ain't helping nobody, bro. Unless unless I'm able to do so. Uh uh-uh. uh. Unless it's not gonna hurt me, and hurt my pockets, and hurt my finances. I ain't helping nobody. And that's how you're supposed to do. It. You're supposed to be selfish when you try to come up. 
unless you're able to help a person and it doesn't hurt your pockets, don't help nobody. Now, if you're able to do it and it doesn't hurt you, then do it. But if it does, nigga, you better not give a dollar at your damn pocket, bro. Fuck that. Don't give no homeless motherfucker. Y'all already saw the video on my channel of the boondocks clip. No homeless people, no starving Africans, nobody. Nobody. Don't give this nobody. I don't care how, fuck their, their sob story. Fuck that shit. Don't give nobody nothing. If it's gonna hurt you, fuck that. Hell no, nah, fuck them motherfuckers. Now, I'm not saying to have that mindset when you have money and you just being, you don't want to help people. That's kind of bogus. But when you don't have it, I'm saying when you don't have it, you don't even give nobody shit. Fuck them motherfuckers. Help yourself. Shit. I don't give y'all niggas shit. Kiss my motherfucking ass. Shit. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hell no. Y'all ain't gonna, hell no. Get the fuck up out of here. But yeah, man, clean up after yourself. And then this nigga took a shower. He got long hair, hair all over the damn shower. Had a big ass hairball in the drain. I'm like, nigga, that shit's fucking nasty. Hairballs, like, I had to deal with that shit when I was sharing the bathroom with, with my little sister. Got fucking hairballs in the drain and shit. That shit's gross. Hairballs in the drain. Leaving dirt marks on the suit. Clean that shit out. Clean the bathroom up. Clean the kitchen up. Clean up. You're gonna be here all motherfucking day. Because you only work at four hours a day, we'll pick up. I should come home, this house should be spotless. I, I shouldn't have to pick up nothing. And, and I should have some dinner at, at the table. Well, I don't, I don't eat dinner. But clean up. Shit, why the fuck I'm cleaning up after you and me? Clean up. And then this nigga be wanting to have bitches ho holes over, but the house dirty. I'm like, nigga, you don't see these dishes not washed? Shit on the stove, bathroom all fucked up? You want to have holes over. What kind of nasty shit's that? Anytime I want some girls over, I want my house to be clean. But ironically, he still fucks them, so they don't give a fuck. Shit. They don't give a fuck, but that shit is nasty. Hell no. I ain't have no girl over. My house going to be clean as fuck. I'm going to have everything clean. Have some uh, some can't, some wax melts on. Clean. I'm going to disinfect. Pick up all that shit. I'm going to have everything clean, clean like a motherfucker in this house. Shit, ain't... It gonna be clean up in here. You gonna you trying to bend holes over the house all fucked up and dirty. Have company over the house all dirty. What kind of shit's that? That's just gross. But back to the topic of the video. Common sense ain't so common. Cause like that's common sense. They have to pick up. If motherfucker gonna be gone all day. That's common sense. Yo, if you're going to be gone all day, I'm, I'm going to go clean up the house. I'm going to go take the trash out. Even if you don't like the deep clean, because that because that takes a lot more work than just picking up stuff. Well, at least pick up then, and then I can deep clean. Shit. Fuck him, I don't. That's what I'm saying, bro. And I should have knew this shit because even when he came over to visit from time to time, he wasn't the most hygienic. So I think she shouldn't have moved this nigga in. Unhygienic ass motherfucker. Shit, sure, you getting your ass up out of here. Mm -mm. I like dirty ass people in my crib, man. That shit dirty. Hell no. Nah. Getting your ass up out of here, man. You getting up out of here. That's all I want to say I'm out.